okay so this the um the purpose of this video is more like an um, update to see um, where we came from and i will be elaborating on something that happened to us i'll say three or four days ago right currently in life i don't know where you are as you're watching this but um you are a seasonal worker at bath and body works in chanel and um you didn't really have a good day from you know just bad customers you get them all the time for when they're talking bad about you to not being at standards that you used to be at the previous bath and body works you worked at in pine bluff um running things over just not meeting standards and so many things hit you. It, it hit you pretty bad to the point of just everything tumbling down on you and you started to get sad, right? And thankfully we're at a point in life where we know being emotional isn't exactly the worst thing in the world. It's, so, it's okay to feel, but at this current moment, you just think, What's the point in dealing with it all? Why go through this suffering? Because nobody wants to suffer. And although you're starting to, you know, feel bad, all of a sudden, just randomly out the blue, you get this thing that hits your head and you see yourself, right? It's you sitting on a park bench with yourself and there's this beautiful peach fuchsia sky and it looks like you're out in a clear field but somewhat like a park and the other you is crying you're looking at the other you crying but you kind of just hug her and pat her on the back not saying anything but you know initiating just saying without having to say anything it's okay to feel it's okay to cry. It's okay to feel anything other than happy. You don't have to validate your happiness. You don't have to validate your completely calm or you're sad just because you're not overly joyed, hyper loud, whatever it may be. And you start to feel a peace. A peace that passes what you could even understand. A peace so different than what you're used to. And you get emotional at this site. Of course, not crying at work. It's a really busy day. But um, you just feel pretty good. Because we're able to acknowledge that, yeah, we're sad right now. Yeah, we're hurting. Life isn't going the way that it needs to be. but Or you would desire it to be. But it's been okay. And then on top of that, your best friend John walks in to your work to show that he's going to be here to pick you up. And it's just like a sign that everything's going to be okay. And then some good news happens the day afterwards. You uh, find out that the position that they said they were going to audition or let you get or let you try for, per se, uh, they give it to someone else. <laughs> Congratulations, it's not yours. Uh, you, the day after, you see someone else trying for the position that they were planning on giving you at the Bath and Body Works. And it sucks. It completely sucks not getting things uh, the way that you imagine or people not... I'll say, um, I'm not saying they didn't give you a chance, but... It's understandable that sometimes businesses just have to do what they have to do per se because of how busy things might be, how big the company is or whatever um, is going on. You know, they needed somebody and we just couldn't deliver. Or at least I'm guessing that's what they thought. Thankfully, we remember stuff, but you know, it's we are still just seasonal. It's not like we're destined to stay there. But on that note, on that positive note, on that she will not get the position you were hoping on getting, we just know that that means something better is in store. 
which, uh, although it wasn't meant for us, there's something way beyond what we're thinking now that's probably right here just for us. And isn't that just a beautiful thing to know that although we're hurting or we're sad or we're not getting what we want, it's always going to end out good. It's a blessing to be able to say that. We are truly blessed, and I just thank God for all of that. So hopefully two years, five years, wherever you're at, hopefully you're um, already having your stuff set, already training for the Olympics, or else is passed, and hopefully you have multiple goals. Um, I'll just, fingers crossed, we uh, went through it and uh, placed goal like we always imagined and made something out of ourselves hopefully we have our businesses up or we're experiencing life traveling the world continuing youtube continuing to help our family and bless them and everyone else with our nonprofit and everything we can do you know life sucks things happen and geez yesterday you should have seen how bad i looked how sad i was but you know i hope that wherever you are in the future you'll somehow come back to this video see the faith that lives in this house is that you can tell where we're at right now and just go i made her dreams come true i did the best that i could do no matter what and i became someone great not just for me but for my family my god my country my future whoever that may be with, whoever I may be protecting, whatever may come. It'll always end out good. Today is and every day from now to the rest of our life will be a great day. Hakuna Matata, keep a positive mindset. It'll all be good. No stress, no worries.